Hey, what's up, team? This is Eddie Gray, and we're here to talk about 10.6. Super excited about this pretty minor update in a pretty major way. Now, here's why. There are three things that have happened. Number one, you could now use Logic Remote to go ahead and input data inside of the step sequencer. Now, that is absolutely incredible for anybody that has a bit more of a tactile nature. You want to you know, go ahead and work with the actual screen. It's really fun. So number two, there are some new loops that you can go ahead and listen to, the keyboard collection, toy box, and I believe vision and verse. And if that one's not new, they just added more information on there. But yeah, a couple new loops, which is always a good thing. And then number three, I will be dedicating this video to the integration with the launch pad. So that's what we're gonna get into now. All right, so if you wanna get into this version of Logic, you have to have Catalina. So no more High Sierra, no more Mojave. We gotta get in the mix with Catalina, all right? Now, one thing I'll warn you is before you back up, go ahead and take the version that you currently are on and back it up somewhere. You can see I have a couple of these versions saved. 10.5.1 is here. I think I have 10.4, 10.3. So just make sure that you save the appropriate version just in case something happens. I can't tell you how many friends I've saved. They like upgraded to their latest OS and then they couldn't open Logic anymore. So this is always useful, okay? All right, the next thing, in terms of setting up the Novation itself, it's really not that complicated. It's plug and play. I've looked for more documentation, how to control you know, the various commands, but there really isn't much out there. If you go to Logic, Control Surfaces, you can also change the orientation of your device. Say you have two of these or more. But other than that, it's just plug and play. If yours isn't working for whatever reason, my recommendation is that you change your drivers. So Launchpad Pro Updater, you could find that online and you should be all good to go. All right, so in terms of playability, it's really simple. These are your scenes and you can go ahead and trigger them. Now, something that I wanna talk about from the outset is just because you hit this again doesn't mean that it's going to stop. How this is determined, the playback of the scene itself, I'm not talking about the individual cells, okay? is right here in the tracks area. You wanna go ahead and control click play mode and then you can select the appropriate play mode. So in this case, I do want this to stop. So I'm gonna hit the trigger once and then when I hit it the second time, it's gonna actually stop. So, so notice that's not the case with this next one, okay? The next one, I'm gonna hit play and then the next time I hit it, it's going to control click, it's going to re-trigger it, which means it's just going to trigger it again. Let's go. Now, in order to stop playback on my keyboard, I'm hitting command return. Why? Because I can't find a way to actually stop the scenes inside here. This is the MK2 model, so that may be it. I'm still kind of working through it, but if anybody knows, go ahead and hit me in the comments. So right here on the left-hand side, guys, this is where you're gonna find your click track. You can enable that. You can undo, let's say I delete something. So this is delete, let's maybe delete a couple of these and then I wanna undo that. You can undo right there. If you wanna quantize, you can duplicate a cell here and double the length of a cell. So let me go ahead and show you that. Uh, let's see these drums here and I want to double the length of that, right? So then now if I zoom out, you can see that that's been doubled in essence. Let me close that. All right, so that's pretty basic. Here, this is how you record inside of a cell. So right now I will click on this cell on my screen. I haven't found a way to select a cell without necessarily triggering it. You know what I mean? Like if I click on this cell, it's going to play. but I want a way of just clicking on the cell just so it selects it. Now, if I hit record, this is going to record. 
on that specific cell. So that is how you work that. You can record arm, the track itself. You would hit that and then hit the corresponding lane. So th these are the drums up here. Down here is the bass. Let's say I wanted to select a track. I found it redundant to have a track select button because you can just select the tracks here. Now you'll notice on my screen that the compressor keeps coming up. I tried deactivating the link here and it just keeps coming up. So I don't know if that's just a bug on my end, but just wanted to throw that out there. I can mute individual lanes if need be. Now that's super valuable for performance. Check it out. And again, I'm stopping playback by hitting command return to stop all the cell playback. You could also on the bottom right, just click here. Still trying to find that button in here somewhere. So other than that, you can solo, you can mute. My favorite is you can control volume, pan and sends. So let's check that out. I'm going to go ahead and open up the mixer so you can get a graphic view of what I'm talking about. If I hit this and I tap it in a very light fashion, you'll notice that this increases the level of the volume accordingly so i'm gonna hit it really hard all right check it out and it goes down right away so again for performance that could be gold right here let's uh let's go ahead and trigger something So again, that's pretty major, pretty sweet. You can also play with pan, right? So this would be down the middle and then you could pan something over to the left or the right, just like that. And then send, you can control the various sends. So let me go to the drums here. You notice that I have two, right? And so let me go ahead and reduce that. All right, so let me play just the drums by themselves. I'll trigger them here. So that's pretty sweet. You can see that I was controlling all the various buses all over the place. And so that is awesome. So one thing I want to talk about before I go is that if you still want to use the initial user mode in Launchpad, I really like it myself. You want to hit user and then you want to go and hit the down arrow menu and then we're back where we're used to being. To get back into session mode, you just click on session and you are inside of the Live Loops grid here. Now, if you want to learn more about Live Loops, I highly suggest you check out my Learning Live Loops course. You can find that on the Graphy app. You can also find that on my website, hfmusicacademy.com. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the content and you want more like it, go ahead, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.